MS Access An Introduction Storage of Data Suppose a teacher wants to store the names, addresses and marks of the students of a class. There are two options to do this. Maintain all the data in the form of a paper sheet to store all the information or use software that stores data in such a way that it can be retrieved, updated and calculations like totaling of marks etc. can be performed easily. A database is a collection of organized data for easy access, retrieval and management of its contents. Data can be in any format like text, number, image, audio, video, etc. For a class teacher, Relational Database Management System or RDBMS is the recommended software. In our day-to-day -day life, we come across many large collections of data like telephone directory, yellow pages, etc., which are good examples of databases. MS Access is the most popular and powerful RDBMS with MS Office package. It has a graphical user interface which organizes and manipulates a large volume of data effectively. Access helps to create a relationship between tables using common fields. Access facilitates many features like adding, updating, deleting, retrieving and sorting the data and establishing relationships. Some of the important features of MS Access are Access provides the facility to break large information into smaller parts called tables and linking that information by a common field that exists in all the tables. It increases the efficiency, speed and flexibility in searching and accessing information. Data redundancy or duplication of data is reduced and thereby it reduces data inconsistency. Different users can access same database and get data related to their requirements. Queries help to get information from the database depending upon user criteria. Reports allow the user to present data in a meaningful and summarized manner. MS Access also provides data security, maintains integrity and also makes it more consistent and reliable. Starting MS Access 2010 To start MS Access, follow the steps. Select Start. Go to All Programs and then Microsoft Office. Now select Microsoft Office Access 2010. MS Access will open and MS Access window will appear. The various components of MS Access interface window are Title Bar. It shows the name of the database and is located at the top of the screen. Access Ribbon. It consists of a row of tabs such as Home, Create, External Data, Database Tools and Design to provide quick access to commonly used tasks. Quick Access Toolbar. It is located at the top left corner of the window. By default, it contains three buttons, Save, Undo and Redo. More buttons can be added to this toolbar. Navigation Pane. It is located on the left side of the access window. The objects of the database like tables, forms, Queries and reports are listed in the navigation pane. Workspace It is the place where we actually create a table and carry out other database tasks. Table tab Table 1 is displayed in the table tab. The first attribute in every new table 
is an ID field which is created by default in MS Access. Status bar. It is located at the bottom of the window. It shows current status of the window on its left and four view buttons to its right. Essentials of a database. Every database has some components that are essential parts of a database. These are Entity Database revolves around an entity. An entity is a real-time object which can be distinctly identified like a student in a school, an employee of an organization, an item kept in a store, a book in a library, etc. So, when the teacher stores the name, address and marks of students in a database, then student is the entity. Table A table is the main database component that consists of rows and columns in which data is stored in a tabular format. Tables are also called relations. In RDBMS, a row is called a tuple or record and a column is called an attribute or field. Attribute Any attribute or column will contain same type of data for all entries, like name will store names of all students, age will show age of all the students and so on. It is advisable to give a short column name which is related to your data in the table. Tuple Each tuple or row is a record of the complete information of an entity. For example, name, age, address and marks of a student which will show the complete information about a student. Query Queries are basically questions which a user asks the database to retrieve selected data depending upon some criteria. Queries will allow you to extract information about fields and records and perform condition-based actions like delete, update, print or summarize data. For example, if you want to know all students who got less than 50 marks, you will form a query and data related to query will appear. Forms A form is an interface designed to simplify the data entry process for the users. It is an attractive interface to input data which is saved finally in tables. Reports Reports collect the summarized data from tables or queries and print it in a well-designed layout as per the user's requirement. Creating a database in MS Access Access offers two ways to create a database, that is, creating a database using templates or creating a blank database. Creating database using templates Templates are predefined database objects of access. It is the easiest way to create a table. They contain various types of built-in tables, queries, forms and reports which perform tasks according to our requirement and speed up the creation and retrieval process of the table. To create a database using templates, Start MS Access. The backstage view with available template appears. Next, Click on Sample Templates in Available Template Categories. The sample templates are displayed. For example, select the Students Template. On the right side of the window, a file name box will appear. By default, Students will be the file name, but you can write your own file name. We can also change the location of file by clicking folder icon given at the right hand side of file name box. Now click on create button. A table structure named student list will be shown with relevant field names. Click in relevant fields to enter data. You will also observe new below ID field. If you click on this, 
a detailed form will appear in which you can enter data. Using templates has the limitation of predefined format and design. You can choose to create your own design, format, tables, etc., which provides flexibility according to the requirement. Creating a blank database. If the sample templates of access don't fulfill user requirements, then you can create your own database from the beginning. To do this, select Blank Database option from Backstage View. Then specify your file name in the file name box. By default, the name will be Database 1, which you can change. We can also change the location of our file by clicking folder icon given at the right hand side of file name box. Clicking on create button will open a blank database with the table name as table 1 in data sheet view and table tools tab already highlighted. Creating fields or attributes. We can create fields or attributes for the table according to the requirement. Here we will create three fields, stu name for student's name, last name for surname and marks for marks obtained. To create these fields in the blank database, follow the steps. Click on click to add and select text from menu. Type the fields to name and then press enter key. The control will now move to the next column. Click on click to add, select text and type field name as last name and press enter. Now click on click to add, select number and type the third field name as marks and press enter. Now your table is ready and you can enter data in the table. Entering data in a table. After creating the table structure, we can now enter data in our example table. To enter data, follow these steps. Double click just under stu name and type any name, for example, Supriya. Now press enter or tab key. You will observe that ID will automatically have one written below it. The next field, last name, will now be highlighted. Next, enter value for last name, for example, Mohan. Once completed, press Enter or Tab key to move to the next field. Now you can add marks in this field. Enter numeric data like 60 and press Enter or Tab key. You will move to the next row or record. Similarly, feed next records. Your table is now ready with sample data. Saving database. We have already given a name and storage location of the database at the time of creating the database. To save your database, click on File tab and choose Save option from the drop-down list. The database will be saved. If you wish to change the name and location of the database, first click on File tab and then choose Save Database as option. Save as dialog box appears. Now choose the storage location and type new name and finally click on Save button. Your database will be saved with the name given and .accdb extension. Closing a database. After working on a database, you must close it properly. We can close the database and exit MS Access by following the steps. Click on the File tab menu and select Exit option. Or alternatively, click on the Close button on the top right hand corner of the screen to close the database and also the access window. Opening an existing database. When you want to open an already created database, follow these steps. First, open MS Access. Click on File tab and select Open. 
open dialog box appears. Select the desired database and click on open button present in the dialog box. After this, if you want to open any table, double click on the table name from the navigation pane. The table will open in datasheet view.